Hi everybody, welcome to our Low on Health game video reviews, where I go over some of the games I've been playing recently. On this day uh, video, I'm going to basically talk about uh, probably the biggest, kind of the, the kickstart to the gaming season, which could possibly be the biggest game of the gaming season, which is going to be Halo Reach for a 360. And I'm also going to talk about another little small game uh, called Private uh, for the PC. But first, let's go on and get to Halo Reach. Let's go ahead and just boot up a video here, so we got something playing in the background. Um, Halo Reach, uh, we, this is kind of uh, the last apparently Halo game that we're going to get within the verse. It is going to be, a, it is a prequel. Um, basically, you the first game, Halo Combat Evolved, you basically are, you start off on the ship that basically leaves this planet because this planet gets, you know, kind of glassed over and blown up. Not blown up, but, you know, taken over by Covenant. So this is essentially uh, the story of Noble Team and their uh, last couple of uh, hours, days on uh, the planet Reach. In which case, as a story as a whole, it's okay. I mean, it's not the best Halo story. It's definitely better than the, kind of, I would say it's better than the previous ones. Uh, I'm still going to have to give the nod to Halo ODST. Uh, I did like Halo ODST's story better, maybe, because you had kind of character development in one night. You didn't really get to uh, identify with a lot of the characters in this one. But, you know, it's a Halo game. A lot of people don't care about the story. I, unfortunately, do care very much about the story. Um, the controls are usual Halo controls. You can kind of customize them here or there. No big deal. Um, the visuals for Halo uh, Reach, I thought, were interesting because they still almost kind of seem dated up close. But when you take a fact, the scale... A lot of really big set pieces in this uh, game, and it really kind of shines to uh, where they show off basically how big the environments are and whatnot. So that was kind of cool. You also get to do a bunch of different vehicle segments, and you get to actually do kind of a, a starfighter type of a little uh, part of a level, which is kind of cool. Um, and, of course, with the new Halo Reach, they've added a bunch of, I'm not going to say extras, but basically a lot of uh, features. Uh, basically, you have, of course, the online competitive multiplayer, you know, deathmatch, no big deal. You have the replays, which is great. You also have an extended Forge map, which basically Forge, which you can make your own levels. Now they have Forge World, in which case you get a huge pallet uh, land that you can actually be able to make just separate areas for multiplayer maps and whatnot, and that's really cool. You also have challenges, which are kind of like daily challenges and whatnot, along with the achievement system um, that basically earn you credits. And you earn credits throughout playing the whole game campaign and whatnot, and those currency and credits go towards adding different armor perks and different stuff here and there, which is kind of cool. A lot of a lot of incentives to keep playing this game. And then, of course, you have Firefight, which is kind of their horde waves mode where you take a, you know your team of friends and you kind of fight through hordes and uh, waves of enemies, which has also, be, ha also been revamped extensively. You can do a lot of custom settings, make your own different types of Firefight, along with different online multiplayer modes. Um, in which case, Halo Reach, as a whole, as a product, has a lot, a lot uh, to offer. A lot of... Uh, stuff to do which is cool um so that's good i mean it's a good solid game i mean for some reason i don't feel that much inclined to keep playing i kind of went through the campaign i'll probably go through the campaign on legendary with other people i try going through the campaign on legendary by myself in which case i don't have the patience halo is too much of a game where like a single grunt can just come around a corner throw a grenade and then you're dead and then you lose your progress um i did enjoy the campaign to a point because i usually run through campaigns and especially with halo it's easy to do it with their checkpoint system and now that they give you all the different armor abilities, I basically abused the hell out of the sprint ability and ran through almost every single level. So I was able to beat the, the campaign on normal in like 5 hours and 30 minutes. It was really cool to kind of be able to do that. But uh, you can't do that on harder difficulties. Um, the one main complaint I have with it is basically with the firefight campaign and multiplayer, you can't just automatically join a set of friends if they're doing stuff, which kind of sucks. There's no active kind of uh, drop in and drop out. You have to wait for them to finish their thing. And you can kind of go put yourself in a queue but as most people know, firefight sessions can last, you know, 30 to 45 minutes. Eyes can't can get pain stuff. So it kind of sucks where basically if you don't pop on when everybody pops on, they either have to start and invite you, in which case they have to start the map over again or firefight over again, or you have to wait for them to end. I kind of think it's kind of a, a missed opportunity to have, you know, drop in and drop out kind of play. But that's my only main guy. I just hate it whenever I happen to pop online, you know, everybody's doing their thing. It's kind of waiting for the bus every hour to jump on, and maybe the bus is already full. But, uh... That's just me, you know, doing my normal complaining. But uh, it is kind of cool. There's a lot to do there. I almost don't want to play it because everybody's playing it. Um, basically, when I looked at my friends list one night, essentially everybody was playing it. And in which case, now even more so, there's two more people on my friends list. I mean, the other night, it was like everybody was playing Halo Reach, you know. In which case, that's great and all. But I don't know, that kind of puts me off the game more so than other. But uh, overall, it's a good game. I can't knock it. Um... And I enjoyed it immensely, and I, you know, I'll probably send it back and probably pick it up again later on. It's definitely, 
a good game that has everything that you need for a game, but honestly, in the Halo verse, it's still ODST. Basically, still takes away the cake, and that's mainly because of story. And I, I basically kind of weigh the story heavily. Moving on here, let's go and talk about the other game, which is called Privates. Now, Privates was a game that was on uh, gotta be for Xbox Live Arcade, and then it got denounced for it because it has strong sexual innuendo and whatnot. In which case, the actual game, which you can download for free on your PC, it's called Privates. It's done by Channel Four, which is the BBC channel. In which case. Um, let me go ahead and just play this trailer real quick for you. And yes, I know the trailer is cropped, but uh, essentially it's kind of a, a, a side-scrolling shooter to a point. Um, and essentially uh, it deals with uh, like sexual transmitted diseases and STDs and whatnot. In which case, it's funny because you'll be fighting sperm, syphilis, AIDS, crabs. Um, and it's just very funny. It's got the BBC kind of humor to it. Um, and wit, which is awesome, but it's actually a solid game. It's very fun to play, and I found it actually very informative and entertaining. It's very interesting to have one of these games come along that kind of do that. I mean, I actively learn stuff about STDs and whatnot, and it's a good kind of a educational tool if it was. I mean, if you have a PC, definitely give this game a try. It's more than just a stupid little game to play. It's informative and it's it's actually solid. It's kind of funny. Um, if you like BBC humor and whatnot, it's there, and I just thought it was really interesting. I think this would have been a really good. Xbox Live Arcade game, and I can see why they didn't have it on there because, you know, just strong sexual, uh, you know, uh, stuff, but I think it's very educational and worth watching, and I just want to kind of put this here to match it up with the Halo Reach because nobody's ever going to hear Privates, and uh, this is me kind of endorsing it, and I definitely recommend uh, playing the game Privates. Download it for PC, it's quick and simple and easy, and I enjoyed playing it. Just, I'm not going to say it more than I did Reach, but more than I've done other games recently, but, uh, that's really kind of about it. Um, let's go and check out Gamefly real quick. I didn't have this posted up. Let's see what we got coming up here. Um, I am kind of playing uh, the uh, Ace Combat game, which I'm enjoying on the PSP. Didn't realize that the Ace Combat game was actually new and I wasn't going to be able to get a save for it to kind of go through. But uh, you got Reach and Ace Combat Evolved. Um, you got Dead Rising, which of course I'm geared up for. And then uh, Castlevania and uh, Two Worlds, Fallout Vegas, and of course Rock Band. And then kind of Black Ops down there. That's kind of really about it. Uh, you have other games. Combat uh, Front Mission is going to be in there. And a couple other games which I'm probably going to kind of pick up here and there. And uh, As I mentioned before in my other video, hopefully I'll be getting a 3DS whenever that comes out in the next couple of months. And actually I'll be able to work on the DS back catalog. There's a lot of DS games I want to play and haven't been able to. But uh, other than that, as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. The ratings should be popping up right here. And uh, I will catch you next time.